Yo. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, guys? Gory on here, just got to record some gameplay for you. Now, what I want to start off with is I know I have not been recording any videos for a while. Um, I stopped that back in August, but I am back to record more. Um, I stopped ahead in my brother's stag party, and then after that, leading up for the uh, following weeks, we had uh, the last minute wedding planning to do. The wedding's over, so now I can come back and start making more content for you guys. Now, where I left off last time was I have three more G Fuel flavors to do, which I will be doing in the upcoming weeks. Um, I also just made a Twitter for my uh, my Q and A series. I'll, that'll the link will be in the description for that. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, drop them in the comments, or if you want to see more for the Twitter, which will be listed below. Now, the last three G Fuel flavors I have, I have coconut, I have grape, and the caffeine-free orange. Um, I'll be getting those in a couple weeks. I was going to finish paying off a couple bills, um, cell phone bill, uh, NFL network for football, um, all that stuff. Sorry about that, guys. My audio cut out. Um, now, what I want to do is start making gameplays, some commentaries, get that stuff going. Um, I know I know, I don't really have the voice for it. Um, it's kind of more monotone. It's not really, like, upbeat, upbeat. Um, but that's just me in general. I'm, I'm very laid back. I'm not real, you know, hey, what's going on, everybody? What the hell's going on? Um, no, I'm, usually, I'm laid back, very calm. Um, I do rage in games a lot. So if uh, you do see me with uh, some live commentaries, if I can get a uh, um, an Elgato game capture, if I can do some live uh, live streams for you, and maybe you'll get to see me rage. It's kind of funny. Um, I've only broken two controllers though, so it's not too bad. Um, the games I do rage at the most though, well, it's just that the game is the uh, is the, well not the game, the games or the Call of Duty games. Um, it's just so frustrating, you know. I mean, you go out there, you're doing your thing. And then all of a sudden you get killed once, then you can't get a kill after that. You know what I mean? It's just annoying. But um, no, this is some uh, Grand Theft Auto Five uh, gameplay of the new Bikers DLC. Um, believe it or not, I'm, I mean I'm a fan of it, but I'm not at the same time. I hate the fact that you need to uh, be playing in an online session for it, which is kind of dumb. I wish you could do it in just a closed crew session. I, mean, I don't know if you can. I've tried, but it wouldn't let me. Um, they, they might have fixed the bug or something if there was a bug in there. Um, now, I want to. Uh, I'd rather do it in a closed crew session. Would be due to the fact that you don't have people trolling you online, or they're not griefing you. Um, in fact, I was on last night with my cousin, and uh, we were sitting there. We, uh, we got some stuff for the coke business. I have not real life in the game. And uh, in fact, I just recently uh, purchased a, uh, a weed factory in uh, in downtown Vinewood. Now, I don't want to get too off track. Um, where was I now? Oh my god. You could tell I have a terrible, uh, a terrible, wow. A horrible train of thought today. I've, I've been up all morning. I've been up since like 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm just tired. Um, but no, I, I got, uh, oh my god. Jesus, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, we were doing our thing on the, for the Coke prices, grabbing supplies, because I don't feel like paying like 15000 45000 Hundred and twelve thousand to resupply the whole thing, so we were up. Uh, we were almost there. We do where you're doing our deliveries to sell everything for the four hundred and twenty thousand. And what had happened was we had one van left. Oh, the one van got blown up. I went and I grabbed the other van. There was a guy. He was off the radar. I didn't see him, and he was hiding behind the corner of the uh, of the uh, the house of the uh, the shed the the, the coke uh, business. And what I was doing is I came back around to get in the van and leave. And before I realized it, he blew up the fucking van. And that was it. I sold 7 out of 15. I mean, it's not horrible. But, I mean, I don't really play games a whole... Like, I don't actually get into games, like, a lot, a lot. Like, I don't sit there and game every single day, non-stop, 24-7. I, I wish I could. Now, if I won the lottery, that would be, be a dream. And I'd want to sit there every single day and make videos for you guys. And that would be awesome. Relaxed, you know? Win the lottery, get a home gym... Get up nice and early, do your exercises, whatever you got to do. Hop on, grab a couple gameplays, throw a commentary together for you. Uh, then I'd do like a bigger one once a month or something. I'd still be, I'd, I mean, I'd still be doing food reviews. Um, I'm trying to hit every uh, possible base there is as far as what people like the younger people want to see. 
Um, cause I know a lot of fans of the uh, like GT5 and Call of Duty, and they're more of like a younger fan base. Not all of them, but there's a good handful of them that are. And out of some of the food reviews, like a lot of the younger people, they like the food reviews, uh, the, the Gamma, the Gamma Labs G4 reviews. Um, I started doing that due to the fact that I was watching reviews myself. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make my first video, see how it goes. And they're not doing too bad. My best one was the uh, the pink lemonade one. In fact, my friends actually uh, uh, they always make fun of me for it because I took I took I sniffed it like nine million times. I'm like, that smells really good. That smells really good. And I want to go take a sip, and I'm like, <clears throat> I like rolled my eyes, and I oh my god, I, I get crap for it all the time from the guys. It's hilarious though. Then the other one was the. Uh, when I was doing the, uh, when I filmed the Magic Rain or whatever from the Buffalo Weather. <laughs> and, uh, every single time I see my buddy Jeff, Jeff Jones, that's up to you, buddy. And, uh, we're sitting there. And we'll be sitting there at work because we, we both work at the same store. And our, uh, buddy Mike does too. <laughs> and, uh, we're sitting there. And, uh, I forgot what I said. It was something weird. Oh, yeah. I'm like, instead of saying that was totally weird, I'm like, dude, that's so sketch. So now every time I see you, he goes, Doc, that was sketch. That was totally sketch, Doc. Doc, I'm like, dude, seriously? But no, um, I'll get to the whole name Doc in a second. In fact, that goes back a few years ago. Um, but no, what had happened was it started pouring out for no reason. It, it, it wasn't dark out, but it wasn't like light either. And it started raining real lightly, and all of a sudden it was like a... <sighs> like, so like thunder. I'm like, what the hell? And I walked outside, and it was just... The sun was just bright enough. Where, you, where if you looked up, like you could actually see the individual drops like probably like 100 feet above where your house was or where you were standing. It was pretty cool. Um, I wasn't able to get it on camera, though, because the sun had kind of like wetted up the camera lens a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone likes that video, but, hey, it's a video, you know. Someone will, someone will stumble upon it and go, hey, that's pretty cool, or holy crap, this video sucks, you know. But, hey, got to keep positive. Um, but what you're seeing right now on the screen is a... Uh, I was actually trying to do this and I kept dying, but I eventually I did deliver it. Um, I could see why they wanted to play together with like eight people with a biker DLC. That's a pain in the ass. Um, it's just absolutely insane. Sorry guys, I had a burp. Excuse me. But uh, I can never seem to find anyone to join my MC or join my crew for that matter. It's actually kind of annoying. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs barking in the background. That's my mom's dog. She's got a, uh, a miniature, like, a poodle thing. His name's Toby. Um, I actually have three dogs. Uh, my brother has a German Shepherd Husky mix. In fact, he lives, he lives just on the street from us. Uh, him and his, uh, new wife and my, uh, nephew Hayden, uh, which is her son. He doesn't have any kids, uh, biologically yet. Hopefully soon. Um, he's got the German Shepherd Husky. My dad, before he passed away, we got him a lab. Uh, her name is Heidi. And then my brother's dog, the German Shepherd Husky, is uh, Dozer. Then I have a cat. Uh, si it's like a Siamese outdoor, like a feral cat. Um, I mean, he can have a temper if he wants to. Um, his name's Irving. Funny story. About that, uh, I thought he was a girl. I thought it was female when we got him. And uh, my brother goes, dude, your cat has balls. I go, but it does not have balls. Those are the scent glands. And uh, I, mean, I, I was just oblivious because I, I only own male cats. I never owned a female cat before. I'm like, okay, it's a female cat, whatever. You know, it's cuddly. It's... No, it's not real nasty, whatever. And then as it got a little bigger, I'm sitting there and I go, my cat has a set of balls. I'm like, what the hell? So instead of calling, uh, his name was supposed to be Bella, except that it was female. But uh, I renamed him uh, Irving. All my friends call him Little Puss because he's a uh, little Siamese. You know, he's like nine pounds soaking wet. So, I mean, he's he's a big, he, he's, he's a good cat. Though. I mean, he, he has his moments where he can be a, a dick. But uh, Jeff Jones, you know how that is. You hate cats. Yet you uh, still come over. Go figure, right? Um, no, uh, Mikey, you like him. Alex loves the cat. Uh, Brett loves the cat. In fact, if you go... It, like, runs really, really fast. Um, I don't know if you guys went deaf from that little, like, hissy noise. I'm sorry if I did. Um, I'll put a, uh, possible loud warning in here. I'll rewatch it later. how it is. Uh, <laughs> sorry I'm laughing. I just thought of, I just thought of something funny out of nowhere. Um, no... But uh, back to what I was talking about earlier, I didn't mean to get off topic. I do that a lot. That's my uh, my ADD. Um, I was on medication for it, and well, it didn't go so well. It wore off, and I got extreme mood swings. Uh, it it wasn't very pleasant. I went from uh, calm like I am now to uh, literally quite quite literally the spawn of fucking Satan. Uh, pardon my language. It's the best way to explain it, though. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I know why they wanted people for this because the DLCs can be it can be a little hard. 
Um, I don't mind it though, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm, geez, I'm saying um a lot, oh my god. This was my very, very first commentary of actually recording with gameplay and actually speaking over it. Um, but no, I mean, it's not bad. I like the DLC. The DLC runs real smooth. It's nice. But my problem is I can't find anyone that wants to join my uh, my MC um, or my crew. Um, I just actually made a new crew. It's called The Funny Farm. The Funny Farm. And I'll uh, just go out there, do our, do our own thing, you know, record gameplay. We'll do our own stunts, try to get in, like, hidden places on motorcycles, hitting jumps and whatnot. You know what I mean? Just The Funny Farm. Just do random things as a group of people, you know? And for my MC, I'm trying to look for people so I can do the higher up missions. Well, what I mean by higher up is uh, I can actually do stuff like this into being easier. Now, for the I opened up uh, like I was saying earlier. I got the I bought the weed business, and those missions aren't hard actually. It's actually they're actually really nice. The only mission I hate, as far as resupplying goes for the coke business, is when you have to go down to uh, Tikala or Tikala, wow, well, Tequila Laws. In the bar and fight the uh, MC or the loss or whatever. And what's annoying is you can't use weapons. All you can use your fists. But they have uh, they can use kendo sticks if you're a fan of wrestling. You'll know what I mean by a kendo stick. It's like a bamboo stick inside out with tape, and when you get hit, it pinches your skin. Um, they can use kendo sticks, baseball bats, uh, broken bottles. Like what the hell, Rockstar? Come on, dude. Seriously. Like all I can use are fists, and you guys can use all these friggin' weapons. They fair at all? No, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> but no, it can, it, it can be kind of annoying. That's why I see why I want eight plus people in it or, you know, there's people helping you out and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's fun though. Like I said, I was playing with my cousin a few, uh, a few, uh, last night or whatever, or two days, no, I'm sorry, two days ago. And, uh, it actually went really well. We were doing really good. Um, except like I said, people keep trolling you though. They'll grief you. They'll bring their jets and shit and they'll blow your crap up, which is really annoying. It's like, dude, I just spent like almost two million dollars in my business you're gonna i'm going to resupply and they're gonna start blowing shit up so i can't make my money back are you serious like what the hell rockstar if you're listening we need to be able to do it in closed crew sessions we have to i mean yeah it's gotta yeah yeah you gotta do it online and know oh, it's more people it makes it more adventurous no it doesn't make it more adventurous it just makes it that much more frustrating and that much more annoying I shouldn't have to worry about blowing two million dollars on a business so I can... Yeah, I'm gonna make millions now. As soon as I walk into my business, I get bombed and everything's destroyed. Like, you gotta do something about that. Like, come on. Like, in some of the missions, when you're playing a line or you enter a mission, like for Simeon, have us where other players can't interfere. Or even if it's in a crew session, like, this is what I was thinking a couple days ago. If you let us do it in a closed crew session, if we can, I don't know if we can. Like I said, I tried it and it wouldn't let me. Or even in a closed friend session... Let us do that, but instead of having other players online, have waves of Meriwether guys, you know, like six or seven, even ten waves, and we have to hold them, we have to hold down a certain, we have to hold it down for so long, and we gotta take off the, like, then, that, then after we hit the road or something, you know, you can get, you get unlimited lives like this, but after you die so many times, you start to lose product, or you lose one, it'll, you know, count as one being destroyed or something, you know what I mean, but that'd be pretty cool though. Um, but yeah, that's what I was thinking, and as far as new DLC goes, I know we have the Halloween update coming shortly, I'll say the week or two, maybe even the day before Halloween, um, I know that, because I watch, uh, Mr. Boss for the Win, or Ross Hudgens, um, if you guys don't follow him, go, uh, go follow him, he's great, he made great content, um, he does GTA videos every day, um, he does live streams, all that stuff, I mean, that's where I get most of my stuff from, I know he follows a guy on Twitter called Yan, or his name's Yan, uh, 1225 or 1227 or something. Um, as you see, I died again because it's completely unfair. You know, you can't shoot straight back and bleh, whatnot. Um, but no, I think we should be able to play in uh, MP crew, session, or, uh, crew sessions only. Waves of Meriwether and mercenaries and stuff like that. that that'd be cool. That way you still have. What's, what's the term I'm looking for? That way you still have competition. But they're not going to blow up all your product with, like, a jet or something. You know what I mean? Like, you'll have to fight them off one by one, wave by wave. Kind of like survival. But you have to get something from point A to point B, and so on and so forth. Um, but uh, back to the new DLC, as far as Halloween goes. Um, I'm hoping it's something good. Um, I think we should get costumes. What they should do would be cool. It's not this whole clown outrage of people, like, uh, killing people in clown suits and... Hunting people down. 
whatnot. Um, what I think we should do as far as that goes is put a uh, killer clown like a costume in there. Maybe have like a mini game or something like like the I know uh, Vanos and his buddies did do the haunted maze. It was like the blind maze where you get stabbed with a knife if they caught you or they kill you or whatever. Um, do that, but have it all across Los Santos and Blaine County and Grapeseed and Alboro Heights. Just take up the entire map, and it'll be the entire lobby versus like five or six of these people in clown costumes. And if they kill you, you become a clown. Which I think be pretty friggin' cool. It's like literally one verse all if you think about it. So let's say there's 20 people in the lobby. Oh, well, guess what? Now it's 15 on 5. Which is like, it's like one person per every, th or it's like one clown per three people or per five people, whatever. Um, that'd be interesting though. And all you can use are melee weapons. You can't use, or you can use broken bottles if you want. Um, you can't use anything really high, like you can't use uh, broken bottles. Um, you can only uh, you can only use your fist, and that's all they can use. And then after it's a big off uh, like the the beast or whatever it's called. I forgot what DLC it was from. Um, but after a certain amount of time, like when time expires, you'll be able to use a gun then or something like that. But they can also get access to other things too. Like they can get sh like instead of we'll get pistols, and they'll have to get shotguns or maybe they'll see they'll get a rocket launcher. But they'd have to wait longer for a reload though. Let's see the one. They have to wait five seconds for it to reload before they can use it again, or make it so they only get so many rounds in their gun, or we only get so many rounds in their gun, and then once we're out of that, then we have to, uh, you know, we'd have to go by hand, fight up by hand with our fists and the whole hoopla. But no, I'm I'm being really freaking weird, guys. I'm sorry. Um, who logged on? Uh, my buddy, uh, my friend Nikki just logged on on Xbox. I don't know if you can hear the the. When people log on and all the notification stuff, um, but no, um, as far as new DLCs, I'd like to see what Mr. Uh, what Ross was talking about, Mr. Boss for the win, and uh, Dat fan, the uh, Dat Saints fan. Um, a new DLC would be like a uh, like a cargo hauler, where you have to uh, haul exotic cars, like a card, uh, the more those uh, big semis that carry cars, like dealerships. That would be awesome, freaking amazing. <laughs> I got the hiccups, guys. I'm sorry. Take a drink real quick. Uh, oh. But no. They'll be amazing though. No. Right. You get six cars on a trailer and we got to deliver them at different points across the map. Um, and then for like the off-road vehicles. The off-road vehicles. You get like one of those, uh, those, those like boat, like a boat uh, trailer. Like all those little bobcat things. You can, I mean, you can even get something bigger if you wanted to. Like you get like, like for, you can get the, uh, the Sand King XL. You can put a quad, a, a full reel in the back. And go to live out on top of Mount Chile or something or something cool, you know? Some really cool like car drop off missions and whatnot, guys. But this is getting toward the end of the stream. Um as far as that goes, guys, I will let you guys go. I'll link my Twitter in the bottom. Peace out.